Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a light flicker or a light bulb flash or an illumination flicker or a strobe light flicker. flicker. There's a lot of different ways you could call this, but I'm going to show you how to do it inside Premiere Pro. That's the important part. Most people will do this in After Effects, but you don't have to. Let me show you the way to do it inside your video editor. Let's go ahead and I'll show you the original shot here. It's just a shot of an image of just a light bulb just doing a light bulb thing so it's on no flickering no flashing nothing i'm going to turn on the top layer with the effects applied to it now watch it's flickering perfectly and we did this in premiere pro with no plugins no nothing let's go ahead and start from scratch and show you how we did it okay i'm going to delete all this stuff here so Basically, I've got a image of a light bulb. You may have a video of a light bulb, doesn't matter. Uh, the effect works the same on images as well as footage. Drag and drop it into the timeline like I have done here. And presto, I've got an image and I've only got about one second worth of footage. So I'm just gonna go ahead and increase the size of this to about, I don't know, let's go to about, what do you think, three seconds or so? Okay, so we got about, I don't know, something like three seconds worth of footage, it doesn't really matter. I just want to be able to show you the effect. So let's, yeah, let's chop it to three seconds. Excellent. So we created a new composition by dragging and dropping into the timeline. Now, the next step, I'm just going to just zoom out a bit here. I'm going to bring my playhead to the beginning. Next step, hold down Alt or Option if you're on a PC or a Mac. And then hold up, left click on the footage and push up. What this does is it creates a duplicate layer on the second video track. So on V2, we now have a duplicate layer. Make sure you've selected the duplicate layer or the second layer and let's start applying some effects and go through this as quick as possible. Now under the effects panel, if you started in editing, don't worry, you might not see the effects panel. Just go to the effects workspace and you will see effects somewhere. For me, it's up at the top right. And if you don't see it, go to window, make sure there's a check mark beside effects and effect controls. But anyways, we're in the effects panel. Type in lighting, L-I-G-H-T-I-N-G. And I spelt that out because you don't want to type in lightning with an N. That's a completely different effect. <laughs> so under video effects, adjust lighting effects. We're going to drag and drop lighting effects onto the top. When we do that, we're going to get this weird spotlight thing going on. And that's not what we want. But I will show you how to fix that. Under the effect controls panel here, and for me it's up at the top left, you're going to see that we've applied lighting effects and with this weird look here we're going to change this so under lighting effects make sure that you click on the click on the little triangle so to speak or the chevron I think is the word and then check on under light one click on that triangle and you're going to see the light type is selected to spotlight we don't want spotlight we want directional this will apply a lighting effect to the entire scene Again, not exactly what we want, but we're on the right path. The next step is you'll see here light color. In this particular instance, we have an older lamp or an older light bulb, and it's selected to white. We don't want that. We want to change this lighting color to like an orange or a yellow. So I'm going to hold down the eyedropper here. I'm going to left click on the eyedropper. I'm going to hold it down, and then I'm going to select a orangey, darky orangey color from the outer edge of the light bulb here. And when I do that, we get this weird looking reddish color. Again, reddish orange. Again, not what we're looking for. Still not to panic, okay? So we've changed the light color. The next step is we're going to go up to lighting effects here. We're going to drag a ver we're going to click on the free draw bezier tool or the pen tool. We're going to draw a very rough mask around the light bulb, the parts that we want to be lit and that we're going to apply the effect to. So left click on it. And again, this is a rough mask because we're going to apply feathering. So I've selected that. Now I'm just going to go very quickly. I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to click about, yeah, let's go right about here. And then we're going down here and then we're going to go, oh geez, that didn't work. It didn't accept my second click. So let's go ahead and try that again. We're going to click here clicking down here and again I know that this isn't tight but that's okay we're not looking for that for this type of shot for this type of work okay I'm gonna click here I'm gonna click out here on the outside of the bulb and then I'm gonna pull down a little bit 
And when I do that, you'll see here that it allows me to curve it a little. Again, this doesn't really matter too much for this type of shot, but I'm just going to show you anyway. And then I'm going to click down here, pull out a little bit. <laughs> I have a joke for that, but I'm not going to say it. Um, something like that. And then I'm going to click up here, and I'm going to pull it a little bit uh, too much. And this is a little slow, but I just want to show you the effect, or show you the technique part of me. Then I'm going to click here. And we're just basically drawing around the light bulb. Now, I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to close this. with. When you see the O there, that means it's going to close the loop. So that means the mask is closed. Again, this is not a perfect mask. Do not panic. What I'm going to do now is that I'm going to see here, I'm just going to hover, and you're going to see that plus. And what that means is I can add a point here. So I'm going to add a point here, and I'm just going to pull it down. And maybe I'll place it right about there. So the mask is much, much better. Okay, again, it doesn't matter. We're going to be applying feathering. So we've got a mask around the light bulb, okay, or whatever your light source is in your shot. Now, underneath the mask, make sure the mask is selected. Increase the feather to like, I don't know, I'm going to go to like 60 because this is really good because you want to have a feathered edge so it's not a hard and dark and a heavy contrast between the light and the dark. So we're feathering the edge, and we are now on our way. We're almost there, guys. So let's go ahead and see what we've done so far. I'm just going to click outside here, and outside here, actually. And then, boom, we've got, basically, we've applied a brightening light to it. So when I click off, that's the regular. And then this is the new look. We haven't done really enough yet, though. So let's go ahead and finish it up. I'm going to click on the top layer. The last and the final effect thing that we want to do is you want to click on your lighting effects. Now, underneath lighting effects, you're going to see something called intensity. This is the one that we animate. The way to do that is you want to left click on this stopwatch or this toggle animation. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning. I'm going to now, the playhead's there, I'm going to left click on intensity. And now watch what happens when we do what we do. Now we are animating how bright it is. So I'm going to dial down the intensity on the beginning to about, let's go with the, like, a, we're going to go to like 10. The reason why is I like to start it off with a dark look and then bright note. So it sort of pops on. And then I'm going to move forward about four, zero, four. I'm going to move forward four frames and I'm going to jack the intensity up to 30. And then I'm going to move forward another four frames to the eight, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to jack it way up to about 68. Uh, let's go to 68. Yes, there we go. Much brighter. I'm going to move forward another four frames to 12. I'm going to dial it down, way down to 12 again, or 11. Yeah, let's go with 11. And then I'm going to move forward another four frames to 16. Oh, I'm at 15. If you want to move one frame at a time, just click this button here. Step forward one frame to the right. And we're going to jack it from 11 all the way up to, like, 68. We're going way high, 69. Great, big lick. Now we're going to 20. And you'll see, I know this is tedious, guys, but this will show you the effect. Move forward and then drag it and drop it down. Like We're just doing it sort of now random, right? So we're going to move from 20, 24, we're going to drop, we'll jack it up, and we're going to go another four frames, and you'll see what we're doing here, or five frames, it doesn't really matter at this point, we're just doing the effect, and then we're going to move forward a bunch more frames, we're going to go up a little bit, we're going to move forward a bunch more frames, we're going to go way up to like 70 or something, and then I'm going to go a little bit more, and then you guys will get the point. So I'm going to go to like 16 frames, and I'm going to drop it back down to 12 or 15 or something. And I'll finish it off at 30. So I'll move forward a few more frames. And again, I'm just winging it now, just so you guys know, the see how it works. And then presto. Now we're going to move it back to the beginning. I'm going to click outside here. I want to hit space bar. It is exactly what I said it was going to do. It's now flashing. It's animating. And because it's it's sort of in RAM preview mode, you're not going to really see it all the time, but as I move forward here, it's flashing. That's what we want, guys. No fancy After Effects, no expressions, no wiggles, no opacity flashes. We just did it in Premiere Pro. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.